Welcome to Close Up on America's Business, the program that takes you inside some of the most unique and successful companies in America. I'm Jim Masters. On each edition of our show, we introduce you to some of the most innovative business leaders in the country today. You'll discover what their products, services, technologies, and business models can do for you, what they're doing to change our world and change the way we do business. As a parent, one always wants the very best for their children, which includes, of course, the very best education possible. And that certainly helps to explain why so many parents are often really concerned about which public school their kids will be going to, or why they elect to send their kids to private schools. And in that regard, one of the most unique forms of private education involves what is known as Montessori schooling. Basically, it is a child-driven educational system developed well over a hundred years ago by an Italian educator named Dr. Maria Montessori. It allows children to be exposed to subjects ranging from zoology and botany to geometry, geography, and biology, among others, at a very early age, as young as even three and four, and they thrive. And here in Dallas, a superb example of the Montessori system is being provided at the campuses of the Castle Montessori Schools. These very impressive schools were started and operated by Vikas and Varsha Patel, a husband and wife team who left high-ranking positions in the corporate world because they just couldn't find the kind of education and environment they wanted for their own children. And now they are making this Montessori educational system available to hundreds of other parents here in the Dallas area. And we talked with them about what makes it so unique. It was such a challenge for us to find the right environment. We were constantly moving the girls around. We would find a place, they may have the perfect environment for them, but then the staff that was taking care of them wasn't the right staff. Vice versa, we went to other places where we found the great teachers that were nurturing, loving, caring, took care of the girls, hugged them when they needed to be hugged, and then we couldn't find the right environment as far as the school was concerned. So in those challenges and moving them from place to place, it was, it was hard on us. It was difficult. It was a struggle to find the right environment. And as we were gearing to the end of our careers as, as corporate executives, we decided, well, what is it that we want to do? And Vikas and I decided, you know what, one thing we can do is let's educate and let's find and let's do something that will help parents find that right place and give them an opportunity to say, you know what, you can have both. You can have the right staff taking care of your children. You can have the right environment. There's no reason to have to opt on one or the other. I had a daughter in public also at the same time, so I was able to compare the two. And what I noticed with my public environment daughter was it was spoon-fed. She was sitting there and they were lecturing in class. It was a traditional environment and everything was memorization. Whereas my younger one wasn't getting memorization. She was learning by being able to focus in on it and the ability to, to absorb it. And by looking at the two environments and being able to have the experience of being at different traditional daycares or childcare facilities, I was able to really make the decision out of everything that I've, we've had our children go from, what is the one that's really stuck to us and the one that really made a lot of sense to us? And it was Montessori. Sincerely, I love to do this and I do it every day, when, either when I'm picking them up or dropping them off in the morning. I like to see how they respond without me being there because I can tell a difference in the way that they are interacting socially, you know, prior to coming to Castle Montessori as opposed to what they do now. And so here I'm watching my, my two-year-old sit still for more than three seconds, so I'm very impressed by that. And the reason that that happens is because that at the Montessori school here at Castle, they teach them that there's a specific way that they should sit and learn, to, you know, in order to participate. I'm, I'm very pleased at what I see, obviously, with my daughter and the way that the teacher's handling all of the children. I mean, she's so excited about what she's doing, the teacher is, and that makes me feel good. So tomorrow when I'm at work and I'm not standing here watching, I know what's going on and I feel really good about that, that my children are in a good place and, and they're excited to be learning. They're learning things that, quite frankly, I, I don't believe they could get anywhere else. Was it hard getting this off the ground in the beginning? We worked very hard to just make sure that our schools are always child-centric, that everything we did was with the needs of the child in mind. That was very important to us. We want to basically make a 
a significant difference in the American education system. And this is a starting point for us. When we see parents that we serve, when they come back to us, when they tell us how we're doing, that feedback of the differences they see in their children in terms of the time they've spent at our schools, it's very gratifying to know that they see that there has been a, a real difference that this environment has made in the life of their child. And to hear that is probably a feeling that I couldn't describe. And the parents actually bring to our attention a lot of great things that has helped us refine our schools over and over. We're in a continuous improvement mode for our schools and we use our parents to help us grow these schools. We have an open door policy and I think that responsiveness to the parents is one of the key differentiators. I'm always learning just like the children in our schools and I think Montessori teaches you that even in your adult life so you never stop learning. That love of learning never stops. We heard so many great reviews regarding Montessori. We heard it was not just a daycare per se, it was actually a school that would provide a strong foundation for your child. It was based on sensory skills, based on sensory exercises, the Montessori principles, teaching that your child is part of a greater whole, and that your child was special. And I think all schools do that, right? But Montessori school, for whatever reason, just it resonated with my wife. We found that the, the principles that are employed by the schools, and, and you could see it even within the teachers. You could see that they're loving, that they're caring, that they treat your child special, that they want your child to succeed. And you see other schools, they talk about that, and you see it on their motto or their logo, and, and, and you kind of respect it. And when you go visit, you can kind of see, you can sense, you know, is this a right place for my child? We just didn't find a place to provide an education for my daughter, but we found a place that would nurture my daughter, love my daughter, and encourage her to succeed. And when she failed, encouraged her not to, to be upset about failing, but that's just another avenue of learning. What kind of credentials does a teacher need in order to be able to teach the Montessori system? There are two major organizations in the United States that help to keep Montessori pure. One of them is called AMI, which is the organization that Maria Montessori herself began and is headquartered in Holland. The other one is AMS, which is the American Montessori Society. Things that Montessori education tends to do for its students is create people who are outside of the box kinds of thinkers. The children in the room are constantly making choices for themselves and not just being told what to do. And what that does is that creates an adult that's able to think for themselves and doesn't just wait for someone else to tell them what to do. It creates an adult that explores different ways of doing things and not just the way they see them being done. For example, the two founders of Google were both Montessori educated and credit much of their success to the education they received in the Montessori environment. The co-founder of Amazon.com is another Montessori graduate. So these are the kinds of people who are able to think in ways that are really cutting edge. I think one of the things that we noticed, the fact that it was so clean and it smelled fresh and it was immaculate when we walked in. I think it was an environment that we could imagine our son spending his day in and being happy. And we were comfortable and dropping him off and being in that environment. They have the music room, the computer lab, the library, the gym, there's the outdoor playgrounds, there's a garden area where they grow plants, vegetables, and there are so many different activities to keep them involved during the day that are not even in their classroom, which they spend you know, the majority of time in their classroom with their teachers that we felt that it was a great environment and it was far surpassed what we had, had planned and, and quite frankly compared to the other daycares that we looked at it was above what the other daycares had to offer. How early do you start the children here and how far along in the school path do they go? Our toddler program is children aged from 18 months all the way up to two and a half to three and then our primary environment is children that are three, four and five year olds and then our lower elementary is children that are six, seven, eight years old, going on to the ninth birthday. And every child in those, those rooms are my children, and I view it in that respect, and I expect all of my staff to view it the same way. And that is when they enter that classroom, those are your children, those parents have left and left that child in your care, and to trust you in whatever you do with that child. As long as your child is here, you can come in and visit, you can stand by the, the monitors up front and, and see how your child is doing. 
If it's nap time and you're thinking that they may have, be having a rough time at nap, let's come watch. If I'm here in this environment, then I'm going to watch with you. We're going to talk about it and see if it's something that you're concerned about. And I read that. I want to make sure my parents know that I'm available to them. I don't have to be in the building all the time to be available. My emails are out there, my cell phone number's out there, and I tell my parents my cell phone stays on all day long. It doesn't turn off. So if they have a concern and they want to bring it to my attention, I'm there for them. I'm available to them. And there you are, an inside look at this unique form of education being taught at the Castle Montessori Schools. I'm Doug Llewellyn, reporting from Dallas. That concludes this edition of Close Up on America's Business. If you'd like more information about any of the companies featured on today's show, please visit our website at closeuptvnews.com. I'm Jim Masters. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.